Because I don't even know if she's there, and I, you know, she, she's, she, she's, I don't, mm -mm, nope. <laughs> Damn. Wow. She, she looks at us as the help. It's been so ugly for my wife, man. And see, this is what I've never done before. It's been so ugly for my wife. And I've stood there trying not to say nothing, but I'm not a blog. Steve Harvey just put Shirley Strawberry on blast after she said some. Here's the corrected and punctuated version of the given text. Steve Harvey just put Shirley Strawberry on blast after she said some really mean things about his wife, Marjorie. And it looks like Shirley's about to get fired from her job. Steve and Marjorie have been going through a hard time in the past couple of weeks, and Shirley's commentary just made things worse for them. It even got Marjorie dragged on social media. Well, it looks like Steve might be out for vengeance, and Shirley better watch her back. Um, did Shirley just expose Marjorie for being the bully? Girl, what are you doing? How could you allow this? What are you feeling? We did not say anything. They did not want to say anything. We did not want to talk about it because we did not want to talk about it. If you think you've heard the last of Steve Harvey, and Marjorie's situation. Well, you better think again, because the situation has lately gotten even more chaotic than we ever thought was possible. In case you missed all the drama that's been going on, Steve's friend and co-host, Shirley Strawberry, recently made some comments about Steve and Marjorie that kind of confirmed the rumors that have been going around about how Marjorie is a difficult person. But what makes the situation even more intriguing is the fact that Shirley got exposed while she was trying to defend her husband, Ernesto Williams. And if you've missed that drama, Shirley has been in a hot mess for the past couple of months after her husband got arrested on some very concerning charges last year. The charges just got exposed a couple of weeks ago, and it immediately got messy because Shirley was dragged through the mud on social media, especially because it sounded like Shirley was going to stick by him through thick and thin. His charges were very serious, ranging from fraud to even more serious charges like possession of child pornography. Shirley even wrote a letter to the judge asking him to release Ernesto to her so she could take him home. Not only was Shirley supporting him, but sources revealed that Shirley was asking Ernesto to flee the country with her so that she could hide out at Steve's house in Dubai. This got Steve dragged so hard for trying to harbor a fugitive and help him escape justice. And the situation got even messier for both Steve and Shirley. Well, if you think that's bad, there were some leaked videos and audio where Shirley was speaking to her husband in captivity. And in one of the videos, we clearly hear her talking to Ernesto about Steve and Marjorie. Now, here she had some really messy things to say. You see, when Ernesto first got arrested last year, Steve opened the doors of his home to Shirley because she needed a place to stay. The police had seized her car, and the living situation was a mess, so Steve offered her a place at his home. Well, it turns out that Shirley had a lot to say to Ernesto about her new living situation. But what made things worse is the timing of the leak, which is really unfortunate for Steve and Marjorie. If you've been following all the Harvey family drama for a while now, you know that there have been rumors of Marjorie cheating on Steve with his bodyguard. But even more, there has been talk among people about how Marjorie is only using Steve for his wealth and how she has a super shady history with some shady men and how she wears the pants in the family and controls everyone and everything. People have had a negative opinion about her and Shirley's leaked audio recording seems like evidence of what people have been saying about her. But what exactly did Shirley say about Steve and Marjorie that got him so upset? Like I said, Steve allowed Shirley to stay with him and Marjorie, but Shirley didn't exactly act like she was thankful for his help. In the leaked call with Ernesto, she mocked Steve for being out of shape, saying that he was winded after climbing a flight of stairs. He's got a big gigantic spa, like huge, with all kinds of state-of-the-art equipment. I mean, I'm not working out, but at least I'm walking. I wasn't winded going up those stairs, I'll tell you that. He was breathing like, for real. Making fun of a person who has put a roof over your head in some desperate times is some nasty business. But Shirley didn't stop there because she had something to say about Marjorie too. 
She claimed that Marjorie went out of her way to avoid running into Shirley, and she had a feeling that Marjorie didn't want her to stay with them. But she didn't stop there because she claimed that she did run into Marjorie, and Marjorie treated her like the help. She looked at us as the help. You know, you told me that. That's not a good feeling. Yeah, yeah, right. And that's, you know, it's what it is. Shirley made Marjorie look like a snobbish and rude housewife who looked down on Shirley and treated her poorly. But another thing that didn't sit well with people was that she didn't really take responsibility for her actions. She criticized blogs and people for blowing up the story. The fact is, these videos were released because of what she said and did. It's not like people made up the story or something, when it was Shirley herself who said the words and did the things. So it's kind of weird for her to try to deflect blame like that. But she also revealed that the reason she's kept silent for so long on the drama is that it's just been difficult for her to talk about it. It was just hard for me to bring this particular thing up. I was just so embarrassed, you know, and humiliated. And I just felt like a fool. I felt so stupid, and you know I couldn't. It's not that I didn't want to talk about it. I just couldn't find the words. And that's the honest to God truth. I mean, it's a sensitive situation to deal with. But Steve eventually got a chance to speak, and he was very upset with Shirley. This was completely expected because, like I said, he's very protective of his wife, Marjorie, and he doesn't try to hide it. In a recent episode of the show, Steve and Shirley addressed all the elephants in the room, all the drama and controversy going on in their lives, and they set the record straight. Shirley started off by talking about her situation with Ernesto, and it looks like it's not as bad as people thought because she revealed that she's no longer standing by him. It turns out that the letters she wrote to the judge were written before she found out the true extent of Ernesto's crimes. It was a case of fraud at the time, and that's why she was determined to stand by him. But now that she knows what's really going on, she has filed for divorce and is leaving him. Steve, I'm just going to start by saying that my estranged husband is in jail. He's been in jail for over a year since right after the 4th of July in 2022. Now, as some have pointed out, it's kind of ironic that Shirley, who's known for giving relationship advice to other women, found herself in a situation like this. But luckily, she seems to have woken up and is doing the smart thing. But she didn't stop there because she eventually addressed her comments about Marjorie. She didn't try to deny it. Some phone calls from last year between him and me were leaked, and on those calls, you hear me saying you were winded going up the stairs at your home, and Marjorie looks at us as the help. And right then and now, I want to apologize to you and Marjorie for what I said. As important as I wish I could, I cannot take it back. I cannot. I said it. And you know, I want to apologize. It was certainly not me trying to add to what you and Marjorie already have going on in your lives right now. Now, I suppose she did the right thing by apologizing to Marjorie and Steve on air, but she didn't exactly take back her words. Some people believe the only reason she apologized was that she got caught, not necessarily because she thinks what she said was wrong. She probably still feels like Marjorie was mean to her. But she had to apologize because Steve is her boss. He's not just going to sit back and let it slide. But another thing that didn't sit well with people was that she didn't really take responsibility for her actions. She criticized blogs and people for blowing up the story. But the fact is, these videos were released because of what she said and did. It's not like people made up the story or something. When it was Shirley herself who said the words and did the things, so it's kind of weird for her to try to deflect blame like that. But she also revealed that the reason she's kept silent for so long on the drama is that it's just been difficult for her to talk about it. It was just hard for me to bring this particular thing up. I was just so embarrassed, you know, and humiliated, and I just felt like a fool. I felt so stupid, and you know, I couldn't. It's not that I didn't want to talk about it. I just couldn't find the words, and that's the honest to God truth. I mean, it's a sensitive situation to deal with. But Steve eventually got a chance to speak, and he was very upset with Shirley. This was completely expected because, like I said, he's very protective of his wife, Marjorie, and he doesn't try to hide it. In a recent episode of the show, 
Steve and Shirley addressed all the elephants in the room, all the drama and controversy going on in their lives, and they set the record straight.